All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, forever and ever, so let it be true. Love, honor, and respect to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and to His Holy Son, Yahweh Shai, who died for the 12 tribes of Israel, for God's elect. And double honors to the apostles of GMS, to the four major prophets, to the minor prophets, and to the hopeful elect, the 144,000 brothers, the Hakim, the saints, who are preaching the word of God to the four corners of this earth on the streets, the highways and the byways, risking their lives day in and day out. And shalom to the great multitude of brothers and sisters and children who are watching these videos and learning and getting, getting those truths. We're on another lesson, and today it's going to be about Satan. He's the ruler of this world. Okay? And uh, we're going to get into the scriptures on it because a lot of people are confused. You know, they think your politicians are with God, your senators, your government. They're not. Satan rules all the kingdoms of this world. He controls the media. He controls all your newspapers, Newsweek, Time Magazine, uh, the New York Times. The Washington Journal, Washington Journal, uh, the Chicago Tribune, Los Angeles uh, Times. Uh, you have the Denver Post and all, all the newspapers and all around the world, all the magazines. Satan rules all the information you get on the radio, on TV, CNN, Fox News. And uh, we're going to get into that. But in today's news, though, the Fed, the Federal Reserve, which are a bunch of demons, they're a bunch of devils who uh, control the Federal Reserve, who, who owns it, is the Rothschild family. They're the, uh, the richest family on earth. Okay? Read Revelations 2 and 9, Revelations 3 and 9. Those are not the real Jews of the, of the Holy Book. They come from uh, their Amalek, the grandson of Esau. Okay. Those are your two devils, the Greco-Roman Empire and the grandson, which is Amalek, um, like Herod, Herod the Great, he was an Amalek. They say that they're Jews, but they're not the real Jews of the Holy Book. But, you know, like I said, we'll, we'll get into more videos on that. But the Federal Reserve, they always have, uh, they have that Powell, he's the, he's the mouthpiece of the Federal Reserve. You'll never see the Rothschilds. They just hire their, their whores, their prostitute whores. Just like your Senate and your Congress, they're all paid whores to do their bidding in this world. So the Fed approves a 75 point hike to take rates to the highest level since 2008, okay? And the Fed says more, more ahead, okay? More height, more uh, uh, rate hikes it's coming in December, probably January, and what what this what happens on this? It's the big squeeze. It squeezes everybody. It's, it's going to be harder to get a home. It's going to be harder to get a loan. Harder to get a loan uh, to get a car. It, it, it's the squeeze. They're squeezing. It, 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 it's all uh, it's all by design. They want to squeeze. And they're destroying the middle class. The poor are already poor, but they're going to get more poor, and the middle class is going to become the new poor. Okay? Because they're going to be pulled out of their homes. Right now, six million people are being evicted from coast to coast. Okay? From the west coast, from the Pacific to the Atlantic, to the east coast, to New York City. All right? Six million people. And there's going to be millions more coming in 2023. So the big squeeze is on. Borrowing will be difficult. Profits decline. Decreasing revenues. That's for all corporations. All your targets, Walmarts. Uh, what else is there? All the pay lists. And all, you know, all the these big places. Uh, what is that? Uh, Dillard's, Macy's, the malls. The malls are, are dead. There's two big malls by me, Southwest Plaza. And every time I go there, sometimes I go for walks. If it's too cold, I'll go inside there. If it's too hot, 
I go to the malls and I'll do my one, two miles in the malls and there's Southwest Plaza, Southwest Denver. And uh, Monday through uh, Friday, it's dead. Saturday, Sunday, you'll see some people in there, but it's dead. Then there's a big mall that's not too far from me called Cherry Creek Mall, and it's been dead. And then and they have those elite stores in there. And it's dead. On the weekends, you'll see people feeding their fat faces and their window shopping, but the, the mall is dead. The people I talk to, they say the uh, sales are down. So it's, they're lying when they're saying they're, they're, it's a strong economy. That's what that Powell said. Uh, he was saying the economy is strong. The, uh, the people's spending power is strong, which is a lie. People ain't spending. And the richest people, they're the most tightest people. They, they know when a recession's here and they know when a, uh, uh, after a recession is a depression. They're the tightest people and they, they, they bunker, they, go, they get down in their bunkers because they know there's gonna be chaos is coming. But not even the middle class no more are, are, are spending. They're, it's getting tight. And like I said, the revenue is going down. All these stores coming in January, February, there's going to be mass layoffs. And it's already happening now in 2022. So there's going to be uh, profits are declining, decreasing revenues. The Dow closed, uh, was, uh, the Dow closed over 500 points. Uh, Twitter came out, and I'll probably do a video on it. They're going to cut 3,700 jobs. These are people that are making seventy thousand, ninety thousand, one hundred twenty thousand uh, uh, dollars. That's it's good money, you know. It's middle class. So three thousand seven hundred people. These are people that have mortgages, which your mortgage means the morgue, because uh, you're just paying the first fifteen years. You're paying interest, but they're going to remove you out of your homes once you start paying for your mortgage. Start paying the taxes. You're out. Okay. So these people are going to be in hard times, all right? And there's more, uh, more people are getting, uh, I'm going to bring out more on the, all these jobs that are being lost all over America. So it's going to get ugly. That's Twitter. 3,700 jobs will be cut. Millions of Americans will lose their homes. Their homes won't sell for years. That's what, and, and that, right now it's just getting a, a beat down in real estate. Yeah. No, the houses, they, they're not selling like they once were a couple years ago. Okay? It's getting bad. Where even in some areas around the United States, houses are, are dropped 50%. 50%. And a lot of these people overpaid their houses. Now they just lost a hundred, two hundred thousand 200000 off of their equity. They're not going to be able to borrow. They got on a, a high mortgage. And now they're losing their jobs. Millions more will be homeless. Housing, uh, the housing free fall is going down. Now I'm going to talk a little about silver. I've been telling for years, been telling the brothers and sisters out there about silver. There's going to be a time very soon you're not going to be able to get it. Now the guy I talked to, the guy I I buy silver from. He said a guy went in there just the other day and he bought two hundred thousand dollars of silver. Okay. Two million. No, this, this is here in Denver. Oh. This is here in Denver. This is the guy I go. To. So, now this brother's talking about in the millions. There was two huge orders that happened. This is not here in Colorado. There was a, I believe it was, what was it, a, a $30 million order and a $50 million order. This is within the last couple weeks, okay? So what's what's gonna happen? It's gonna, you're not gonna be able to get the silver. So you got these billionaires that are buying these 20, 30, $50 million orders. And they're, you know, they're, they probably have, they're putting them in their bunkers deep into the ground. Okay. Real soon here, silver is going to go up to three hundred an ounce, five hundred dollars an ounce, a thousand dollars an ounce. Okay. Now, silver eagles, the premium is over. Uh, many is fifteen to twenty dollars on the premium. Gold used to be a hundred dollars. So if you got one gold coin, you would have to pay a hundred dollars just on the. 
the premium. You're going to pay that premium to the, the dealer. Now it's 250 That's here in Colorado. Other places is higher. It's going to get so high, you ain't going to be able to get gold or silver. So like I said, if you have a 401, cash it out. Because it's worthless. Your money in the bank is worthless. This is a token I'm giving to you brothers and sisters out there. Because it's going to get ugly. All right? In Vegas and other parts of the uh, country, they're literally uh, taking these telephone poles down and they're pulling down uh, the copper out of them and other precious metals. That's why the, they're selling these cars and they're taking the, uh, uh, underneath the cars, they're taking, what is it, palladium or something? C Cadillac converters. Uh, Cadillac converters is the palladium that's in it. That's why they're selling these cars and they're taking all precious metals will be taken stripped right off their uh, people's door. And let me tell you something about silver. All your iPhones, all your high-tech uh, gadgets, computers, video games, all have silver in them. Okay? And, and silver, people need silver and anything that's high-tech. So I'm going to, that's just a token to you brothers and sisters. Silver, whoever has silver will hit the jackpot. Uh, North Korea continues to launch missiles. U.S. sending and that's escalated with North Korea. Because China and North Korea, China controls North Korea, and it's about to get on. With North Korea, Iran, and Russia, it's all, they're all going away from the US dollar. It's a little chilly out here, that's why I have my hand inside my uh, jacket, it's like 35 degrees. Uh, so that's the, the whole Middle East, I mean the, the China Sea, you got North Korea, it's about to go on. It's, you know, it, it's about to go to a next level. You got Russia, it's escalating. The Middle East with uh, Israel, Iran, Saudi Arabia. It's at an all-time high. Um, U.S. sending forces to inspect American military, checking their weapons. Now they're confirming, now like I've been saying for months, U.S. military is in Ukraine. Okay, which I've been saying. Now they're coming out, but they're saying that all the top generals and captains and lieutenants and all the special forces are just checking on the chains, checking up on things, watching things to make sure things don't get stolen, which is a lie. They're using these weapons to kill Russian soldiers. Now they're admitting they're in Ukraine. They're not admitting that they're killing, but come on, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this out, okay? They've been in there killing, they're, they're controlling the drones, they're shooting down their helicopters, shooting down their uh, planes. So I'm going to get right into the scriptures. So I'm in the holy book of uh, Matthew, chapter 4, verse, uh, Matthew, chapter 4, verse 8. And this is Satan tempting the Son of God, who you call Jesus Christ, which his name is Yahweh Shai. Again, the devil took him up to an exceedingly high mountain. What does that high mountain represent? So Satan takes the Son of God, Yahweh Shai, to an exceedingly high mountain. And he shows him the mountain. The mountain represents governments, kingdoms. Who's the biggest government? He controlled, and back then, was the Greco-Roman Empire. You had Egypt, you had Assyria, Babylon, Persia. Satan has controlled all the kingdoms from the ancient times to now. Who's the most powerful today? The United States. He says, again, the devil took him up to an exceedingly high mountain and he showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to them, all these things I will give you if you fall down and worship me. The heavenly father gave Satan all the kingdoms of this world. And he showed them to the son of God, Yahweh Shai. And he says, bow down, get on your knees, worship me and that he would share the kingdoms with them. So that, that's, this is what the point of the story. Satan controls all the governments. He con con controls your Congress, your senators, your president, all right? Your governors, your mayors, they're all Satanists. They're on the left-hand side. That's, they're on the left-hand side. They worship Satan. And then Satan has a legions of demons, and these demons work with all your politicians. Everything that comes out of their mouth is lies. Like how they're saying this is a strong economy. That's a lie. How they say your, your 401 is safe. Your pensions are, 
That's a lie. The only men who are speaking the truth are out here on the street. All right? We have nothing. We have no wealth. We have, we're, we're not living in mansions. We don't have uh, yachts and uh, private airplanes. But we have something that's more worth more than all the gold of the world, than all your planes and million dollar homes. This book, this holy book, is worth than all of the kingdoms of this earth. Okay? And he said, and he said to them, all these things I will give you if you fall down and worship me. And then Yahweh said to him, away with you, Satan, for it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God, Yahweh, and him only you shall serve. And that's the truth. And that's who we serve. Yahweh Shai and the Heavenly Father Yahweh. Then the devil left him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. They, the angels came and ministered to Yahweh Shai because Satan took all his energy. See, these demons, they'll take the energy right out of your body. That's why you need to read the word day in and day out. This gives re boots, re gives you power because these people around us are demons and they take your energy. That's why you got to eat raw nuts, your pecans, your walnuts, your, uh, your uh, sunflower seeds, your uh, pumpkin seeds, uh, Brazilian nuts. You need to eat raw vegetables. This is the power. Your, your body needs fuel. You need energy. You need, you need to drink beets, coconut water, coconut milk. But the main food is the Word of God. And now I'm going to jump to... Uh, I believe it's John chapter 8. Chapter 8. John chapter 8. We'll start with uh, verse. John chapter 8, verse 38. And we'll read it all the way to 59. And he says, I speak. What I have seen with my father Yahweh, and you do not, you do what you have seen with your father. He's talking to the Pharisees right now. And he says, I speak what I have seen with my father Yahweh, and you do what you have seen with your father. And he's, he's telling them that their father is Satan. They answered and said to him, Abraham is our father. And Yahweh said to them, if you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. So he cut them. These Pharisees weren't reading the Holy Scrolls. If they read the Holy Scrolls of the book of Genesis through the whole Old Testament, Yahweh Shai, the Son of God, who you call Jesus Christ, is in every book of the Holy Book from the Old Testament to the New Testament. It's all one book. But during that time they had the Holy Scrolls, they didn't read the book. They would have knew. They would have known that the Son of God was in their face. But that's why he said, your father, their father is the devil. They didn't follow, uh, uh, follow Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And they answered and said to him, Abraham is our father. And Yahweh Shai said to them, if you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. But you seek to kill me, a man who has told you the truth, which I heard from God the Father, Yahweh. Abraham did not do this. You do the deeds of your father. Then they said to him, We were not born of fornication. We have one father, God. And Yahweh said to them, If God were your father, yeah, your father, you would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from Yahweh. Nor have I come of myself, but he sent me. The Most High Yahweh sent his son, because he's the light of this world. Like I said, the Pharisees were demons. Their father is the devil, Satan. Like two thirds of our people worship Satan. They worship this government. They believe, you believe in these politicians. That's why the God's gonna cut every, all these jobs. It's gonna stop to a, uh, in the Holy Book, it says it's gonna, uh, uh, it's, everything is gonna, uh, how would I say it? Uh, to a halt. To a halt, there you go. It's all going to come to a halt. All the jobs are going to be lost. And he says, "Why do you under, why do you not understand my speech? Because you are not able to listen to my word." 
You are of your father the devil, and the desires of your father you want to do. What are those desires? To be rich, to have, uh, live in a mansion, to do just like these politicians and your uh, all these corporations uh, by lies and deceit, your real estate liars uh, uh, saying that these homes are worth so much that are lying. They're, everything is a lie that comes out of these people's mouths, and uh, they're uh, they're always uh, with their orgies and uh, every uh, adultery and worship worshiping idols. He said, that's the desires of Satan. He says, uh, your father the devil and the desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning and he was a murderer. All you people who follow these, uh, follow these politicians, these senators, presidents, their uh, government, their murderers, their politicians, they, uh, the Rothschild family, these international bankers, they murder, they, they kill villages if they find a mountain that has gold or silver. They'll murder you if they find any type of uh, uh, resources. Oil, they'll kill you, they'll kill your whole family. That's how they got their riches, by murder. He says, he was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand, he does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources, for he is a liar and the father of it. Like I said, your politicians are all liars, your governors, your mayors, your president, all these corporations, Twitter and uh, Google and YouTube, they, uh, they, uh, they attack who? The servants of God. And they speak lies. Everything that comes out of their mouth is lies. Newsweek, all your media, your TV stations, it's all lies. 45. But because I tell you the truth, you do not believe me. Which of you convicts me of sin? And if I tell you the truth, why do you not believe me? He who is of God hears God's words. Therefore, you do not hear. I have two uh, trucks coming down. Hold on real quick. They're choosing the cesspool, the, the, the crap off the streets, because Babylon's falling apart. I mean, this, this, all these streets are just opening up. Trash everywhere. Verse 46, which of you convicts me of sin? And if I tell you the truth, why do you not believe me? He who, he who is of God, Yahweh hears God's words. Therefore you do not hear because you are not of God. Two thirds of you, you nations, especially our people, you worship this government, you, you follow Satan and his desires. You are not of God. People are nothing but the devil. Then the Jews answered and said to him, Do we not say rightly that you are a Samaritan and you have a demon? And Yahushai answered, I do not have a demon, but I honor my father, and you dishonor, you dishonor me. Like I said, that's blasphemy. They called him a demon, and they didn't believe in his name. So that's blasphemy. And like just today, we... They, this, the, the, we're living it today. We're preaching the word of God, and we're giving you the holy name, the ancient Hebrew name of the, the heavenly Father, Yahweh and His Son, Yahweh Shai. And when you rebuke that name, and you and you speak, like I said, you got to think before you speak. You say anything against the name, against this holy book, that's blasphemy, and you will not be forgiven in this life or the next. And Yahweh answered, I do not have a demon, but I honor my father Yahweh, and you dishonor me. Remember I told you in the, in the Holy Book? Yahweh is in every book, and the word of God is Yahweh And I do not seek my own glory. There is one who, who seeks and judges. Most assuredly, I say to you, if anyone keeps my word, he shall never see death. And that you, brothers and sisters, the elect, you won't see death. You, you will live forever with who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Then the Jews said to him, Now we know that you have a demon. 
Abraham is dead and the prophets, and you say if anyone keeps my word, he shall never taste death? Like I said, they never read the Holy Scrolls. If they would have read the Holy Book, they would have seen that he's in every book. And the word is God. The Most High, Yahweh, the Father and the Son. It's about the Father and the Son. That's why he says, he said, uh, if anyone keeps my word, he shall never taste death. This is the word of God. When you read this, this keeps you alive. This gives you the energy. This keeps you going. This gives you peace of mind. This gives you hope and faith that he's going to come back to rescue us from this cesspool that we call America and the four corners of this earth. It's nothing that's turned into a bunch of garbage bells because the people who rule over you are Satanist. And then the Jews said to him, Are you greater than the, our father Abraham, who is dead, and the prophets are dead? Who do you make yourself to be? And Yehoshai answered, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It's my father Yehoshua who honors me. Of who you say that he is not your God. Yet you have not known him, but I know him. And if I say I do not know him, I, I shall be a liar like you. But I do, but I do know him, and I keep his word, because the Most High sent his Son for the elect. One third of our people are going to be saved, but two thirds of our people are going to perish because they're murderers and liars, and their father is Satan. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Then the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? And Yahushai said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, before Abraham, was I am they couldn't understand it that the son of God created Abraham Isaac and Jacob like I said they didn't read the holy scrolls they didn't read the holy book just like today these false prophets and the, these people in the churches the Roman Catholic Church the Baptists the Protestants the Seventh-day Adventists, Jehovah Witnesses, they don't read their holy book. They have no understanding of this holy book because their leaders are blind. If you follow the blind, you will fall into a ditch. Now you have the rural apostles that are here and the prophets. And we worship Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai forever and ever, so let it be true. Hope you brothers and sisters were edified in this truth that the ruler of this world is Satan, but Yahawashai is going to destroy Satan and his legion of demons and the government of this world. That's why World War III is here. Yahawashai is the Most High sent of all the nations. That's what the Most High tells Yahawashai, sit at the right hand side of me and I'm going to destroy all the nations of this world. Because he's sending his son to earth to rule this earth and universe forever and ever. And the elect, most high willing, I'm part of that, and you brothers and sisters, and we will worship the Father and the Son forever and ever. So let it be true, double honors to the Lord. Yeah, I will buy a shame now. I'll do another video. I'll buy a shame now. 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 I'll buy